Today I'm going to be working on a small little canvas. I believe it is an 8 by 8 inch canvas. I'm going to be doing a bunch of fun different techniques on this, so let's get started. First thing, I want to put some paint around the edges. And it doesn't have to be fancy. Just get it on. Now while that dries for a second, I'm going to prepare something else for the canvas. If you watched my video on making necklaces with Dimensional Magic and mod or and glossy accents, it's a throwback to that. I have these little black bottle caps and I'm just going to squeeze some glossy accents in there and I've already used an October afternoon pattern paper, this little orange and cream flower. I've cut out the circles to fit in there and I'm just gonna stick those down really quick. Maybe. I'm not gonna be able to get that one out. There we go. Alright. Got three of these. Stick those down. And now I'm going to use the Dimensional Magic to coat the inside of the bottle cap. Just like that. I'm going to set that aside to dry. I've got my canvas pretty well dry. It's not perfect, but that's fine. I've got some Mod Podge, matte, medium. Just going to stick down on top of this. Okay, then I've ripped out a piece of music sheet paper. This is Paper Studios, got it at Hobby Lobby. I just ripped the edges so it would fit right in there and I'm going to smooth it down tight. Now I've got a Prima mask. This is a large 12 by 12 inch piece. So I can get it open. It's got a fun leaf pattern to it. You know, I'm not even seeing a name to give you a name of it. Leaves, I guess. Huh. All right, and I've got some of my inks that I have mixed up myself. This is a green ink with a pearl in it, and I don't know if that picks up on camera, all the bubbles. It's really pretty. Anyway. Okay, so now I have added some paint colors to my paint tray here. I'm just going to do some color washing, just a little bit. And you say, why put all that on the bottom if you're just going to cover it with paint? Well, you'll still see some of the stuff on the bottom. through the layers. It's just the trick of layering.
Now I have some wire. This is number 20. I got it at a hardware store. It's, um, I don't know. You can get it at some craft stores too. Any wire will work. And I'm just going to start making A flower. Just shaping the petals. And then stem. So I'm not too concerned with how it looks because it's abstract. A third flower. So I've got my big one and two small ones. Now we're gonna play with the melting pot. I've got some UT in there and it is for the most part all melted and you can see it is pretty brown because it is older UT that I have left in my pot and used over and over again so that's what happens to it. It eventually kind of browns from all the heat that it's concurred. All right, so now I've got my flower and I've got the stem held straight out. I'm going to dip my flower into the UT and pull out, twist around a little bit. And fill the petals with the UT give it kind of a stained glass effect. Set it down to dry completely and move on. Now obviously these smaller petals are going to be a lot easier to fill than this large flower. Let me do another one of the other small ones. So what else can we do with UT? Well these flowers are going to need some leaves. This is the Ranger shrink plastic and I am just going to cut out some leaf shapes and obviously going to cut them out a little bigger than what I need. Just to show you, this first one, you see that in my hand reflecting? Okay, I'm gonna drop that in the shrink plastic, or the shrink plastic in the hot wax. See it bubble up. Alright, pick it up. off and drag. See the size of it there? Not very big. Now I am going to cut some of the excess off. Obviously these are shaped like leaves but don't really resemble leaves all that much. So I'm going to use my alcohol ink and my dauber. And I'm going 
to color them. going to attach my flowers that I made onto the canvas with my hot glue gun. of it. 